These are tight quarters in a hallway. So you just sprayed a little water on the wall and you sprayed some chemical on the wall. We use two different kinds of scrubber pads. Um, the one I've been using is like a, a brush and then his is like a, I'm trying to think of the right kind of pad I would call that. The back side of a uh, one you do dishes with. Like there's the sponge on one side and the scrubber side. It looks like the scrubber side. I'll have him stop and show you in a second. But, um, so that's why you'll see sometimes that and sometimes the other. On these really flat walls with um, no textures or anything, this is fine. On stuff with texture or stuff um, with little bumps on it or anything, then I like the one that's more like a brush better. Will you do that? Can you show the scrubber side of that? All right. So, and then turn it sideways. Okay. So it's just like the edge of a scrubber uh, sponge for strip dishes. All right. I know I've said this in the other videos, but normally I am backing the water um, while he's doing this, but I can't do this. So I'll back it here in just a second. And everybody wants to freak out because like it's not good to have all this water in the house and it absolutely is not um, the ideal situation this is not how you want to clean your walls on a yearly basis or something but um, having meth in the house is looking for so water in the house so the key is just getting it dried up very quickly running dehumidifiers and um, just getting it dried up afterwards You don't want this done to your house? Don't cook meth in your house. Simple as that. I'm going to show you on the tops of cabinets because they're just like a special beast. Um, they accumulate just a ton of grease, so straight awesome um, is the best thing. But it's just a degreaser, so it'll cut through the grease. But just kind of wetting it down real good with awesome. And then just rub the crap out of it with a paper towel, and it's going to turn into like these little like rolls of grease basically um, and then after you get them all kind of balled up and rolled up um, then you're just going to back them off of there and kind of do that a couple of times to get all that grease up there. There's a couple of dangers um, with cabinets especially in these mobile homes. They are not constructed well and I'm going to come in closer here. You can see all these nails sticking up. They um, these nails should be going through here and into this wood here but they miss all the time so there's nails just everywhere so you have to be really really careful not to get your uh, finger stuck on a nail okay so 
I'm going to come in here so you can see some of these kind of flux. I'm going to show some cabinets over here that I just did, how you can see that all these, like this one really um, got some of these flux. I have not backed these up yet. I was waiting to get it all done. What that is is some of this uh, ceiling that has kind of flaked down onto that. That's what that white is. Yeah, there's just a lot of that. So then now that he's got that all um, kind of broken loose, then he'll just run the, the vac over it to suck those up. And then I'm going to go back and do all the other ones. to get to the ceiling. Heath is on a two-step step ladder and I am on <laughs> a very tall ladder to get to the same place. I'm a little short. It's 2.10 p.m. on Sunday, day four. I never thought we would still be here today, but we are. <sighs> We're exhausted, but we made it. So I always take a quick video of how we left it that way if anybody comes in and does anything afterwards that um, I at least can show how I left it uh, the owner has asked us to leave the windows open um, for ventilation this was our high room right here it was a 5.7 so you know at the point where we're leaving at the end of the job it's like ah He's just really, really hope, please, please, please let this come back okay on final testing and um, so we don't have to come back because uh, I hate this place right now. When it gets down to the end of the job and we're this tired, we're just hating life. We're just hating this place, not just the house. We hate the town we've been in. We hate the hotels. He's saying the hotels were so bad here that we stayed three nights and we stayed at three different hotels and I wasn't happy with any of them. All right, this is the room that was not um, contaminated above the limit. So that is left as is and not been, not been touched. All right, this door is gonna stay open now light on um, and after I finish this video I always come back and open up like all the cabinet doors and that kind of thing just to allow a little more ventilation since they are still damp they're not wet um, at this point but they're they're damp so I don't want to uh, close them up and create a little problem so This is, this is the last area we did, so you will still see some water here. Um, I have left um, in the refrigerator all of the light fixtures and the uh, whatever that little thing is that goes in the, uh, my words, just my brain doesn't work at the end of the job. The, uh, the thing that goes up in there. <laughs> All right, heat and cooling. I don't know how many times we cleaned it, about 5,000 times. That was a level, level 11. Um, and, and I mean, we cleaned it, cleaned it, cleaned it, cleaned it, cleaned it. So if it does not come back um, under the limit on final testing, then that will have to be taken out. There is no more cleaning that. That's just all we can do with it. So I hope you enjoyed the ride of this mess up cleanup.